Greetings and welcome to the About My Brain Institute podcast, exploring the enchanting realm of the goddesses of the world oracle cards. In this episode, join us as we delve into the fascinating world of goddess Mamaquilla, renowned as the Inca goddess of the moon, femininity, and fertility. Part 1, Significance of Goddess, Mama Quilla. What does Mama Quilla represent in mythology? Mama Quilla, the Inca goddess of the moon, played a pivotal role in Inca mythology and culture. Her significance encompassed lunar cycles, timekeeping, fertility, agriculture, femininity, motherhood, cosmology, and divinity. As the goddess of the moon, she was central to the Inca calendar and observed agricultural planning and religious ceremonies. Mamaquilla was associated with abundant harvests and invoked for favorable crop growth. She symbolized the nurturing aspects of femininity and guided women through the cycles of life and childbirth. Mamaquilla held a divine presence, embodying the celestial realm and governing forces of the natural world. Rituals and offerings were dedicated to her aimed to express gratitude, seek blessings, and foster harmony between humanity and the divine. Part 2. Archetypal Qualities of Mama Kila. Unveiling the Archetypal Power of Mama Quilla, Inca Goddess of the Moon. Mama Quilla, the Inca Goddess of the Moon, embodies archetypal characteristics that resonate with humanity across cultures and time. She represents the archetype of the nurturing mother, symbolizing the feminine aspects of care, compassion, and protection. As the goddess of fertility, she embodies the life-giving force and the cycles of creation and birth. Mamaquila also embodies the archetype of the wise and guiding presence, offering her lunar light as a source of wisdom and guidance. Her connection to the moon represents the archetypal symbolism of illumination, intuition, and the ever-changing nature of life. Mamaquila's archetypal characteristics tap into universal themes and provide a source of inspiration, nurturing, and guidance for individuals on their own life journeys. Part three, symbols associated with goddess Mamaquilla. Significance of silver and white in the worship of Mamaquilla. Mamaquilla, the Inca goddess of the moon, hold deep significance in Inca mythology. The crescent moon represents her connection to the lunar cycles, while silver symbolizes her radiant and luminous qualities. Coca leaves signify the connection between the moon and the natural world, and the rabbit represents fertility and rebirth. Silver and white, as colors associated with Mama Quilla, reflect her radiant and illuminating presence. Together, these elements embody her role as the goddess of the moon, representing her influence over the lunar cycles, fertility, and the guiding light she provides in Inca mythology. Part four, the story of goddess Mama Quilla. A moonlit tale, Mamaquila and the Inca realm of wonder. Once upon a time, in the mystical world of the Incas, there lived a radiant goddess named Mamaquila. She was the beloved goddess of the moon, revered for her luminous presence and nurturing nature. Mamaquila's silver light gracefully bathed the earth each night, casting a gentle glow that illuminated the hearts and minds of the Inca people. Mamaquila was known for her wisdom and guidance. She would appear in the dreams of those seeking answers, offering them insights and visions. Through her moonlit whispers, she instilled a sense of peace, hope, and inspiration in the hearts of her devoted followers. One night, a young Inca girl named Kila found herself in the midst of a personal struggle. She felt lost and unsure of her path in life. Longing for guidance, she beseeched Mama Kila to show her the way. That very night, Mamakila appeared in her dream, her luminous presence bringing comfort and reassurance. Mamakila, Killa spoke softly, I seek guidance on my journey. Please show me the path that aligns with my true purpose. With a tender smile, Mamakila reached out her hand and gently touched Killa's forehead. Instantly, Killa felt a surge of energy and clarity course through her. The goddess whispered, Child, trust the cycles of the moon. Just as I wane and wax, your path will unfold in divine timing. Embrace the darkness as an opportunity for growth and welcome the light as a catalyst for transformation. Trust in your own inner wisdom and you will find your way. 
Awakening from her dream, Killa carried the wisdom of Mama Quila in her heart. Inspired by the goddess's words, she embarked on a journey of self-discovery, embracing the cycles of life with newfound understanding. Killa learned to honor the phases of growth and release, just as Mama Kila guided the moon's dance across the night sky. As the years passed, Killa blossomed into a wise woman, sharing the teachings and wisdom bestowed upon her by Mama Quila. Through her guidance, many found solace and inspiration in the cyclical nature of life, finding strength in both the shadows and the light. Mama Quila's benevolent presence continued to grace the lives of the Inca people, offering comfort, illumination, and a reminder of the eternal cycles of existence. She remains a symbol of wisdom, feminine power, and the transformative forces of the moon, a guiding light in the hearts of those who seek her embrace. Part five, three strategies for personal transformation, tapping into the power of the Mama Quilla archetype. Strategy one, seek wisdom and stillness. Set aside time for meditation, journaling, or silent contemplation to tap into your inner wisdom. Connect with the quiet voice within and listen to the guidance that arises. Allow the wisdom of the Incas and the universal energies to inspire your insights, guiding you towards personal growth, clarity, and transformation. Strategy two, honor ancestral knowledge. Embrace the rich heritage and wisdom of your ancestors. Explore your cultural roots, traditions, and ancestral practices. Incorporate elements of ancestral knowledge into your daily life, rituals, or creative expressions to deepen your connection with your lineage and tap into the collective wisdom of those who came before you. Strategy three, connect with nature's cycles. The Incas had a deep reverence for nature. Follow their wisdom by spending time in nature, observing and connecting with the cycles of the seasons. Engage in activities that align you with the natural world, such as gardening, hiking, or simply sitting in quiet contemplation amidst the beauty of the outdoors. Part six, why it is important to undertake a ritual or visualization. Neuroscience teaches us about the plasticity of our brains, emphasizing the impact of focused intention and repetitive practice on reshaping neural pathways. Moreover, quantum physics suggests that at the fundamental level, everything is composed of vibrating energy fields, interconnected in a vast web of potentiality. By engaging in rituals and visualizations, we enter a state of focused intention and coherence, enabling us to connect with the quantum realm and interact with the subtle energies linked to these goddess archetypes. By combining the ancient wisdom of goddess mythology with modern scientific knowledge, we tap into our own transformative power, fostering harmony among our mind, body, and spirit. Ritual steps. One, create a sacred space by dimming the lights, playing soft, gentle music, and gathering items that represent the moon and its energy. Begin by centering yourself and taking a few deep breaths, allowing yourself to connect with the essence of Mama Quilla, the Inca goddess of the moon. Two, light a white or silver candle, symbolizing the radiant light of Mama Quilla. Place it on a small altar or sacred space, along with representations of the moon, such as moonstones, silver crystals, or lunar imagery. Three, stand or sit comfortably facing the altar and invoke Mama Quilla with reverence and respect. Speak from your heart, expressing your gratitude for her presence and guidance. Four, sit in a comfortable position and reflect upon the current phase of the moon. Contemplate the symbolism associated with that phase and how it relates to your life. Journal your thoughts, emotions, and insights that arise during this reflection. Five, after your reflection, go outside if possible, preferably under the moonlight. Stand or sit in a place where you can see the moon. Raise your hands towards the moon, palms facing upward, and feel the moon's gentle light bathing you in its energy. Speak your intentions or prayers aloud asking Mama Quilla to bless you and guide you on your journey. Visualize the moonlight infusing you with divine wisdom and clarity. Six, take a moment to sit in quiet contemplation, feeling the energy of Mama Quilla's presence surrounding you. 
Offer a final prayer or affirmation, expressing your commitment to carry the wisdom and light of Mama Aquila within you. Blow out the candle as a symbolic closure to the ritual. A final message, words of wisdom from Mama Aquila. The moon, a cosmic muse, paints the night sky with dreams, inspiring us to believe in the power of our own radiant potential. Thanks for tuning in. This podcast was brought to you by the About My Brain Institute. For all the freshest updates and exclusive content, make sure to subscribe to our newsletter and give us a follow on our social channels. Until next time, keep those neurons firing.